can the American oil and gas renaissance really continue now that the price of crude has come down to the low 80s? This morning we heard from Flotec, FTK, one of the leading manufacturers of environmentally friendly chemicals that are used in oil and gas uh, drilling, cementing, well completion, and of course production. The company has engineered a complex nanofluid that improves well performance in hydraulic fracturing while also reducing the need for horsepower, water, and propane. In short, it makes the whole darn process more efficient and helps producers get more oil and gas out of the ground. Flotec also has a drilling technologies business that includes their measurement while drilling technology and a tool called the Stemulator that increases the speed of horizontal drilling. By the way, they also use citrus in their fracking chemicals. So it's like having some orange juice with your fracking breakfast. Now, Flotech has seen its stock get crushed over the last few months. Price of oil came down, but then it reported this morning, and the results, they were fantastic. Sending the stock up $2.11, or nearly 10% single session. Flotech delivered a two-cent earnings beat off of a 24-cent basis with higher-than-expected revenues that rose 19% year-over-year, and their energy chemical business up 31.2%. Even better, management said that October has been trending well, with no negative impact from the volatility of commodity prices. That's huge, and it makes me think that this stock could have much more upside. But don't take it from me. Let's check in with John Chisholm, the chairman, president, and CEO of Flotec Industries, to hear more about this quarter and where his company's headed. Mr. Chisholm, welcome to Man Money. Good to see you, Jim. Good to see you, John. Thank All you. Right. We talk about the technology of oil drilling and why it's making things more efficient. We can get oil out of the ground much faster. When we think of technology, what we're really thinking is Flotec. You are. Yeah, we're a technology-driven company. We've got patented technology. We put a big emphasis on our intellectual property portfolio, but you hit it right on the head. Okay, so uh, when I met you last, you talked about something I kind of, I was a little, um, let's say, uh, disbelief, that you're using citrus to do the job. Sure, so a part of that citrus oil is a product called D-limony. It's a solvent. We put that into a complex nanofluid droplet, if you will, and it goes into the fracturing fluid of guys like Halliburton, and it creates the opportunity for that larger oil molecule to come out of that hard rock in these horizontal wells and have a chance to get more production out. Do you think environmentalists, if they knew that, would be uh, more inclined to think that maybe fracking is not the worst thing that ever happened to our country? I think they would, and in fact, we're getting ready to initiate our first work in California in the diatomite, and I really believe that's part of the reason is because of the citrus component of our product. Okay, uh, oil has come down. A lot of people feel that a lot of the projects have been canceled, but you were quite bullish on the call, even, even including the numbers that we have now, right? Right. We've had a very consistent message, whether oil's at a 105 or 85. We don't tell people back then that you need to do it just because you can afford to do it. You need to use the technology because it's the right thing to do. You know, this industry, had the dominant point of view, as you know, has been at all cost, cut cost. Right. And they have a code for that. It's called optimizing. Okay. Our code is you need to maximize. And if you can validate value, you should consider using value-added technology. Well, and we are able to validate ours. Well, one of the things I loved in your call was you said, look, as oil goes down, they even, they're, it, they're forced to use Flotech to save money. Well, as you know, a lot of these independents have got this breakover between what the cash flow is right. and what the amount that they've got to spend to keep drilling. And so we really believe that at $85, you can even make a stronger case for using the Flotec technology. All right, well, give me the case right now. I, without Flo, I'm a guy and I'm not using Flotec. And how long is it taking me to get oil out of the ground and how much? And then I hire you. How much more can I get out of the ground and how fast? Yeah, so we've looked at over 66,000 wells across the country with completion data and production data, and about 15% of those in the last three years have used that complex nanofluid technology right. you recommended. And on average, what the data says, and this is data provided by the ENP companies, it's right. not us, that you're going to get about a 20% uplift in the initial production and sustain that over at least the first year of the well's performance. Well, what that makes me feel like is that even if oil is at $82, we shouldn't think that the renaissance is in jeopardy? No, not at all. Really? Yes. Okay, now uh, tell people about the actual companies that you work for because we like them and people are trying to figure where Flotech fits in. You do list your, your biggest clients. Sure, so it's a distribution business model where we sell into the service companies like the Halliburton's right. and the Schlumberger's and the Bakers. They rebrand it and then they push it out to the Anadarko's or the Nobles or the Apaches right. and that's the, those are the folks that use the technology. Okay, it's an engineering company. It's a technology company. Why do people not understand this is American engineering? It gets me a little, I mean, look, you and I, when we went out, to, we did go out to dinner, we talked about the idea that most people don't understand that this is really an industry that we have revitalized, like a flow tech is revitalized. 
No, that's exactly right. Now, you know all the numbers about how much employment's been created because of the shale revolution. Right. And, you know, we've gone in the last year and a half probably from around 400 people to 530. We talked about this morning about how we have the highest number of revenue per employee and operating income per employee, we think, in the industry. You and, do? Yes, we do. Okay. And uh, it's all about the people of Flowtech that have driven the performance of Flowtech. Um, one last question. When I look at when you're moving to California, I know you know the shale business. Have we found all the big oil that we're going to find in this country? No, I don't think so, Jim. And I think the environmental uh, effort has curtailed finding more and more that California's one, your state here in New York's another, that I think properly exploited, there's an opportunity to even improve what we're doing right now. Well, I got to tell you, it's just a great story. I, I feel very strongly that, you know, um, that you are, the environmentalists are going to be stunned. Now, I did once, I mentioned, because we, we also had a drink at work, at work that I, I did drink flat fracking fluid from Halliburton. Yes. Jim Brown gave me some. He's, he's president a, of the Western Hemisphere. He's, he's a pal of mine. Uh, well, let me ask you, does yours taste better? I, I would have to say that it does. Well, it's got that orange juice tang. Well, right? exactly. All right, well, I'm going to be drinking your stuff and telling people to buy your stock. That's John Chisholm. He's the chairman, president, and CEO of Flowtech Industries. Guys, when I say it's an, an engineering and technology business, this is the guy who's powering the engineering technology that is doing such a great job for our country. Stay with Kramer.